Welcome guys, uh, this is my new channel CCTV. Uh, my name is Avi and I have created this channel to impart knowledge uh, to people who are aspiring to join contact center industry or are already working in contact center industry and looking for growth opportunities. Now see it's a very basic thing uh, wherever you work it's not even uh, only in call center but if even if you work in any other industry you will only grow when you learn so learning is a constant thing uh, and that should never stop so with that motive in mind uh, you know i've created this channel so that uh, you know i can teach you uh, and help uh, you in uh, gaining that extra knowledge that is required to move up the ladder uh, so it's basically, uh, you know, a medium uh, of giving away uh, to, the in to the industry, you know, giving back it uh, to the industry. Whatever I've learned from uh, my experience, I want to share it with other people uh, and, you know, help uh, others uh, learn these uh, things with me. So uh, today we are going to talk about uh, something which is... Uh, you know very common and you have you might have heard this term uh, very often while working in contact center industry you might have uh, heard your managers or your team leaders or you know people around you talking about uh, this particular term so the term that i'm talking about or referring to is shrinkage so uh, today we'll cover up uh, you know what is shrinkage what is call center shrinkage why shrinkage is so important what is internal shrinkage and external shrinkage how can we control shrinkage and how should we calculate shrinkage uh, now to explain in a very very uh, basic uh, term or you can say layman terms uh, shrinkage is something which is unproductive you know uh, you have agents uh, let's say you have an agent he has uh, target login hours are eight hours so he needs to log in for eight hours give eight hours of productive time uh, or nine hours of uh, shift he's logging in and uh, you know he's taking breaks he's uh, uh, you know you you call him for a one-on-one -on -one or coaching uh, you know all that stuff when he's not taking calls when he's not doing the productive work all that non-productive work whether he's on a break uh, whether uh, you have called him for a one-on-one -on -one meeting or you're coaching him uh, because he's not taking calls at that time so that entire thing is uh, thing is shrinkage now let's dig uh, you know deep uh, into this let's uh, take a dive into it so there are different ways the shrinkage has been defined within uh, the industry so shrinkage can be defined as uh, you know the time for which people are paid during which they are not available to handle calls so it is not that you know uh, that you are taking a one hour break and uh, your salary will be deducted for that so that one hour break is included in your shift so if it's a nine hour shift one hour break is allotted to you eight hours you have to log in and stay on the system one hour of that time of nine hour shift you have for your breaks where you can go for a tea break you can go for a lunch break or take short breaks as you feel like you know depends on uh, the you know the work culture that you are into and depends on the process that you are working into so you are getting paid for that breaks so that is what you know uh, this definition means uh, another definition is that shrinkage is a measurement of anything that takes an agent away from their ability to take customer contacts so uh, shrinkage can be defined as you know let's say uh, an agent's system suddenly crashes there is some technical glitch in it so you have raised an IT ticket, the IT guy came to the floor and he's looking at the system, he's working on the system to fix the issue. So for the period of time when this uh, IT guy is working on that system to fix the issue, that is considered as downtime. So what is downtime? So downtime is it in itself a type of shrinkage because the agent is away 
from his or her ability to take customer contacts while the system is down he cannot take calls he cannot speak with customers so shrinkage is also defined as any scheduled or unscheduled optimization or activities which prohibit your employees from performing their duties so it can be a scheduled uh, meeting uh, there can be a town hall that you know you want a few of your team members to attend there can be um, let's say r and r uh, that is happening on the floor so you want few people who, you know uh, people who have been uh, you know awarded with r and r to be off calls because so that you know once their name is called they can go and take that uh, reward so these things are either scheduled or uns and unscheduled uh, can be you know uh, downtime that i gave in example it is not scheduled i don't know when when is the downtime going to happen i don't know when the system is going to crash so any schedule or unscheduled activities which prohibit the employees from performing their duties is shrinkage uh, so shrinkage can be a list of things that you know takes your agents away from being productive that is from serving customers so shrinkage is basically a difference between the total number of uh, staff that you employ and those uh, available to undertake uh, the work for which they are employed for so that's about what shrinkage is uh, so what is call center shrinkage so shrinkage uh, is a measure which is used in you know call centers most often uh, you know for the planning as a sort of fudge factor that means that it allows uh, for the difference between the number of staff and forecasting to be managed so if uh, for example you know if uh, let's say uh, the forecast is that you you would require 70 agents for a half hour interval and uh, you have a shrinkage of 30 percent then probably you will need uh, 100 agents uh, to cover that demand so your forecast says that 70 agents can handle the call but at the same time you have uh, 30 percent shrinkage uh, that needs to be considered that there will there will be people on breaks people would need breaks there would be there could be a you know downtime there could be uh, a person coming in late or few agents coming in late logging in late there could be instances where uh, you know the scheduled agents uh, you know might report sickness so all these factors you know combine together uh, you know form shrinkage and we need to consider it while, while making the roster while making the uh, shift plan or shift pattern so 70 agents are required for a particular uh, volume in a half hour interval 30 percent is shrinkage so how we calculated this 100 you can see the formula on the screen so 70 that is the agents required divided by 100 minus the shrinkage 30 divided by 100 into 100 gives us a number which is 100 so we would need 100 agents to cover this thing now usually what i've seen is you know people do fall into the trap of adding the percentage shrinkage to the agent requirement so what they do is uh, what you know i've seen people doing is that if 70 is required how they calculate uh, the uh, you know roster count is 70 plus one point you know 70 plus 70 into 1.30 so if you calculate that you get to 91 you will fall short of uh, the requirement you need 100 people rostered to manage that shrinkage but if you do a wrong calculation your roster will not be right you will have less number of people which will have a greater impact on your service levels and on your call abandon so that is how the call center shrinkage is calculated so why it is so important see shrinkage is important because from a resourcing perspective so i want to make a schedule i want to make a roster i need to know the shrinkage if i don't know the shrinkage how will i make the roster so it helps us to have a good grasp on what is you know our organization shrinkage and what levers you know we need to pull in order to manage our resource levels and at the same time you know meet the customer needs so if if we do not factor in shrinkage correctly we might end up making a schedule which will not meet the forecast and it can result in you know dip in service levels so what are the different types of shrinkages so shrinkage uh, we have uh, 
two types of uh, you know components uh, external shrinkage and internal shrinkage it can also be called in office and out of office shrinkage so internal shrinkage or in within premise shrinkage or in office shrinkage uh, you know includes team meetings coachings trainings one on one system downtime unplanned facility breaks uh, time spent on helping other departments all these uh, things are internal shrinkage because they are happening inside the office premises external shrinkage or out of office shrinkage is sickness you know peop, uh, an agent came to the shift after one hour he started feeling sick so he, he can't log in anymore so he just gave you one hour of login so rest uh, you know seven hours or eight hours is uh, shrinkage sickness shrinkage because you can't keep that person uh, on the floor because he's not feeling well uh then holiday or leave you know public holidays absenteeism uh, lateness people coming in late to work so these are external shrinkage uh how shall we control shrinkage that's the first question that comes to our mind now mo you know most of the managers most of the team leaders what they do is they always look for low hanging fruits for example for a particular day shrinkage is high and volume is Uh, at peak and uh, you know you need to manage shrinkage so what i've seen is that uh, the manager or team leader cancels any scheduled meetings that they have planned with their team members or one on ones they have planned they will cancel the trainings that they have planned for that day to just to have that extra resource uh, you know on uh, on the calls for that you know space of time for that short period of time so you know i'm okay with this it's it's perfectly fine to have it once or twice but if it's happening on a regular basis you know it really impacts your you know employee engagement your employee morale as well so it creates a lot of ruckus your employee engagement your team engagement goes for a toss another thing that uh, you know people do uh, is you know ask the agents to do overtime now if uh we talk about overtime overtime can certainly help however uh overtime will put stress on your employees it gives strain or excess workload to people which is not good then another uh, the best way is you know uh, to have uh, you know to prepare effective uh, roster and shift patterns and do resource management at the same time what i mean by resource management is uh you need to track your agent behavior you need to coach them you need to control the same why i'm saying so because at times it happens that an agent uh, has gone for a tea break which is usually for 15 minutes but he's not returning till 20 minutes or he's taking a 20 minute or 25 minute break that 5 to 10 minutes extra that he has taken makes the difference that that is also a shrinkage that will have an impact on your service level that will have impact on abandoned calls so you need to keep these things in mind anybody coming in late logging in late logging out early these all things these are behavioral aspects of your agents that you need to coach them on and control these behaviors if you don't coach them if you don't control them you will keep on struggling uh you know in terms of shrinkage so shrinkage is a major factor for contact centers for achieving the desired service level and meeting customers expectation if all the shrinkage factors you know are monitored and managed and taken into account you know when you're forecasting and scheduling then you can achieve higher service levels with a uh, lower operating cost it's it's that simple so how to calculate shrinkage shrinkage formula you know can see on the screen this total hours of uh, external shrinkage plus total hours of internal shrinkage divided by total hours available into 100 so that gives us a percentage shrinkage percentage now let me take you through an example on how to calculate shrinkage so in this example let's say we have taken number of days in a year we know it's 365 uh, number of weeks uh, that we have in a year is 52 so i'm assuming a five day working model so you will give two week offs uh, per week to the person so number of weeks off per year is 
So total week offs in a year would be 52 multiplied by 2, which is 104. Now, what is the remaining number of working days that are left in a year? So we have uh, out of this 365 days, we have minus or, you know, remove these week offs. So we are left with 261 uh, working days. Assuming that it's a nine hour shift, uh, we have multiplied 261 with nine and we have got a uh, total number of uh, working hours here as 2,349. Now, talking about leaves and absenteeism, we are assuming that the, in a year, there will be around about 25, uh, you know, days of leave and absence. So that will be nine hours per day. So 225 hours of shrinkage that we are assuming here. So it's just an example. It's uh, it can vary, uh, you know, from situation to situation. Then we'll we are assuming that there will be 236 days of uh, lunch and tea breaks. How we have got this uh, number is that so we have uh, 261 working days, out of which 25 days, uh, you know the person would not be available because of leave and absenteeism so for only 261 days he or she will be eligible to have lunch and tea breaks so we have uh, taken it as 261 minus 25 which is 236 so one hour of uh, you know break he can get every day so that is 236 hours of uh, break that we come to then we have uh, Coaching, we are assuming that uh, that is 30 minutes every week. So we have 52 weeks, uh, half an hour coaching every week gives us 26 hours. So if we calculate this, this comes out to 487 hours of uh, shrinkage, total shrinkage. So we have plugged it here, total shrinkage hours of 487. So total productive hours would be uh, 2349 minus 487 that is total number of working hours in a year minus total shrinkage hours which gives us 1862 1862 hours if we divide this by 12 we get total production hours in a month and how to calculate total productive hours in a day that we'll get will be uh, total productive hours in a year divided by 365 multiplied by 7 into uh, divided by 5 because it's a 5 day week so we get 7.14 which is uh, 7 hours and 8 minutes and 31 seconds total productive hours that we get is 35.71 that is 35 hours and 57 minutes approx now how we have calculated shrinkage here we can see that it is total shrinkage hours of leave and absenteeism divided by total hours available that is 2349 so that gives us 9.58 percent similarly we have done this uh, so 236 uh, of hours of uh, lunch and tea breaks divided by 200 and 2349 we have subtracted the uh, leaves and absenteeisms out of it because if a person is not in the shift he or she is not eligible for uh, tea or break or she he or she practically cannot take a lunch or tea break so we have removed that so that gives us 11.11 percent .11%. coaching uh, same formula we have assumed here that if a person is not available in office he or she is not eligible for coaching so we have calculated that way same way so this is the total shrinkage that we have that is 21 point nine one percent so that's how you know you calculate shrinkage that is how you know these uh, these are this, this is the simplest formula and the simplest way to calculate shrinkage shrinkage is very important guys uh, you need to keep a watch on this uh, particular metric because uh, this metric impacts other metrics uh, you know in a severe way so i hope uh, this video was uh, very informative and uh, you like this video if in case there is any feedback that you would like to share do comment on the video and do let me know uh, you know what topics you want me to cover in the next video and i will surely work on it and will come up with uh, you know something more interesting in the next video thank you for watching have a great day